And we're joined now in the studio by Jimmy Muller. He is president and co-founder of Voices for Sudan, a U.S.-based coalition on di of diaspora organizations dedicated to resolving the humanitarian crisis in Sudan. Mr. Miller, thank you for being back. Thank you for inviting me again. Thank you. So when we saw you Friday, you were heading off to New York to celebrate. What were the highlights of that day for you? Well, we had this uh, big event where, uh, with our coalition partners, the uh, Sudan Development Foundation. And uh, the biggest, I would say, like we had Sudanese from, from all walks of Sudan, from Darfur, from the Nubu Mountains, and uh, from Blue Nile. So everybody was there to celebrate, and of course with our American friends. Of course, and you were pushing aside from celebrating, you're pushing still the other outstanding issues in Sudan in general. How did that go? I think that that went well. That went well uh, because we had all the uh, all the people from Sudan there, from the from the other regions. Uh, that de definitely uh, did go well. We got the message out. There was some press mm -hmm. uh, coverage on that, and, uh, and it is important to see to it that uh, these areas are looked into, especially at this moment. And of course, among those, the issue of Darfur, the Nuba Mountains. What are your expectations along those lines? Well, with regards to the Nuba Mountains, I think uh, the fact that the UN Security Council has uh, sent out like 7,000 troops in, in southern Sudan, uh, if there could be some kind of modification in a way that, uh, you know, the, those, those peacekeeping forces can provide, you know, maybe a protection also to the Nuba Mountains and people in Abia, uh, that would definitely be good. Uh, in terms of Darfur, I would maybe recommend that uh, the whole Darfur peace process could be moved to the United Nations instead of having it in Doha or anywhere else. Uh, that would be a venue that would have the capacity and all the resources available to be able to deal with the matter. Now, of course, the celebrations were marking the beginning of a whole new era for South Sudan, and it's time now for the heavy lifting, as many are saying. What are your immediate expectations of the new government of your country? First, the good feeling is still there, you know. Um, and uh, they have, people have high expectations, given the fact that uh, they, the, the fighting has been for a long time. And they have high expectations. They are waiting for, uh, you know, new beginning. They are waiting for new improvements in their lives. So they have high expectations. So it's now how the government reacts to that, how they manage those expectations in such a way that uh, the citizens can work, work with them through the process. What will the role of Voices for Sudan be in that capacity? Well, in that capacity, we are trying to do an outreach, especially here. We are trying to do an outreach to the diaspora population and, and see what they're thinking. And we're thinking of how we can uh, work with the government, uh, see what their needs are, and what are the things we can provide. Are you concerned about what we keep hearing about this potential issue of ethnic, uh, some kind of ethnic conflict or tension within the different ethnic groups in the country? Yes, definitely. Definitely, we are concerned about that. But these are now uh, problems that, as a nation, uh, the nation has to face. These are problems that uh, the Southern Sudanese have to sit together and try to see how best they can manage it if they want to have a viable country. Okay, well, thank yeah. you so much, yeah, Mr. Jimmy you. Muller, yeah, for yeah. joining us. Thank you. And we wish you, of course, continued success. Thank you. The organization. That's Jimmy Muller, president and co-founder of Voices for Sudan, joining us here in our studios in Washington.